Okay, okay, checking in for this uh, vlog. We are in Amberley and filming two day shoot and just quickly stopping at a bakery to pick up a few snacks. We've been driving for about an hour out of Christchurch North and we've got a two day shoot uh, for the Hiranui tourism for the autumn kind of campaign. Celebrating some of the colors and the vibes of the area. Um, what else to report? Got some beautiful models, amazing models, our friends. Rob and Rach, who are going to be in these videos that we're making, and Daniela, a friend of mine, photographer, she's going to be shooting for this campaign as well. So, this isn't actually being launched until next autumn. So, unsure how much I can share, but I'll take you along as well. So, let's go. Now, we had already began this roadie uh, back at their place as they're getting them packing their bags, getting set up in the car, but um, here is some behind the scenes shots of kind of the first location. We uh, pulled off a few times on the way to Mount Grey. This is the first location, Mount Grey. It ended up being a two hour walk up to the top and back. It was amazing. It was such a nice day, as you can see in the footage here. Um, we were just chatting, enjoying the views, and uh, Daniela was shooting some branded content for her backpack. Massive shout out to Flora from Hironui Tourism for organizing this shoot and also shooting a ton <laughs> of uh, B BTS clips, uh, some vertical, some horizontal, so I'm just chopping and changing uh, the best I can. But yeah, Daniela, aka D, was getting stills and I was shooting video, so pretty of a light kit, FX6, one lens, no other gear, just Roman. I was on the 24 to 70 Sigma and yeah trying to get as much variety as possible like showcasing the landscape little detail shots of the couple but also um little detail shots of the forest and the greenery and the atmosphere so good fun yeah there's rob and rach doing their thing doing their model thing and they were perfect we made it to the top and i was kind of like what do i want here so I got a few generic -y, kind of nice lookout shots. Rach was filming on like an old school handy cam. She had a little digital style ca um, that filmic camera as well, which was cool. And got a few nice bits and bobs, as well as popped up the drone to get some kind of nice hero shots. Um. We didn't really film too much on the walk back down. It was more about motoring down quickly to get in the road and head to Pegasus Bay Winery for the next shooting location. It was here that I set up the um, iPad setup for the first time just to sync to show Flora what I was uh, shooting. Um, seemed to work straight away, flawless, super easy. Um, yeah. Here we were filming general platter, wine vibes, relaxing. You can build your own platter there with all these local beautiful uh, ingredients, but also they have amazing pies on offer, so you can just rock up, have a pie, and a nice little cheeky wine with a beautiful view, so very cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this your mom? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> my oh. Here with the one and only Daniela. <laughs> Like the biggest creature. The final location for the day was Tussock Ridge, one of the accommodations uh, and uh, canopy camping. It was incredible. Yeah. Amazing little setup with a nice little spa area for your bathroom, nice cute little bedroom, outdoor kind of kitchen area. And uh, so we filmed there as the sun was going down, and then we made it to our accommodation, which is about five, ten minutes away. Um, it was beautiful, amazing, amazing views, and uh, well, I quickly so got Molly. to downloading and backing up all my footage while Daniela cooked us a little bit of dinner, shot day, and then uh, whipped up this little kind of story to showcase the day. Okay, day two of the shoot started off. I'm just panning around the mess that was last night, getting prepped for the day. Uh, my stuff is lying around, charging everywhere. I had 
just gear scattered everywhere, but the sunrise was just divine. Had a cheeky spa and a wine the night before, so was very recharged and feeling good. Yeah, that's kind of what it actually looked like. Um, and the only other thing to mention is that I spilled my whole drink bottle in my car, so I was drying mats of my car. Ugh. Kicked off the day back at the accommodation from last night, but like completely different light, completely different vibe, uh, so it was nice to capture a bit of that uh, with just uh, a different different light completely. Once we left the accommodation, we road tripped and filmed a bunch on the road because there were some beautiful spots, but there was this lookout on the way to Hamden Springs that is beautiful, and uh, yeah, filmed there for a little bit, popped the drone up, which was great. Next spot was Conical Hill, which is kind of like a, a go-to walk in Hamner Springs. Um, super simple, maybe like 20 minutes up up and whatnot, so it was quite nice. We stopped at a few different places, got a bit creative, um, trying to think how could we make this walk unique compared to the other walk that we shot, um, and it is a very different kind of walk. It's, it's really nice, but simple at the same time. Oh, that bird. Do you want to take a wee photo? From there, we headed into the village, and um, they parked up their cute little whip, and we headed into the Hamden Springs Thermal Pools and Spa. Um, little private room, which was tight. It was tough to get the nice, clean shot, but um, but we having the door open it really helped. <laughs> now, I have shot at the pools a bunch before, over the years, and the, um, there are nice little private pools, but we were kind of struggling with blinding light like it was so harsh and, and bright so ideally we would have shot there in the morning or the evening uh, but scheduling just meant that this is kind of when we got it done so got a little bit of gimbal stuff got a little bit of uh, fx6 stuff as well and then that was it we were on to one more location then we'll be done Who's and wheeze or whatever you are <laughs> Jeez, it looks like I just take the mick out of uh, Daniela the whole time, but I probably did. This was the last location, it was called the Powerhouse Cafe in Hamner. It is um, great, amazing food. It's probably like my go-to cheeky little brunch spot. Um, and we took over this kind of outdoor area and used the diffuser. You can see Flora there. Woo, shout out Flora. And just diffusing some of that harsh light uh, so we could get some nice little shots of the team and it was just be all nice and diffused. So worked really well, got what we needed, and that was it for the shoot. Done and dusted. Now this content is shot for next uh, autumn campaign, but I will be putting together a few reels. So uh, keep your eyes peeled to the Hanoi Tourism Socials. Yeah, thanks for watching.